Hello, everybody. It is Deborah Kagan, your Mojo Recovery Specialist, and I am here for your Mojo Moment. Mojo Moment. Um, today it happens to be a Saturday, so and it's a fabulous rainy, rainy Saturday in Los Angeles, California, and um, I was like, let's 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 do let's straight talk today. Let's just get some not not that any other day I'm. I'm not talking straight, um, but um, oh my goodness, hello, Mr. Shulman. Um, so welcome. This is a new venture that I'm up to this year. This is this new experiment of bringing you alive 365. Every single day this year, I'm going to be bringing you a new, uh, a new mojo moment, a little tip, inspiration, information to help you keep your mojo rocking. That's really what it's all about. I just realized I did not put my phone on do not disturb. So I'm going to do that so we don't get disturbed during our time together. Um, oh, thanks. Yeah, I chopped it off for a little bit. It's a whole new thing, Shulman. Shulman is in the house. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Michael. Hey, Barry. Um, this is, uh, this is yeah, Saturday Mojo Moment. Putting myself on do not disturb. All right, there we go. Um, so good to see you all. And... You know, I was thinking about, of course, like, what are we going to talk about? Because it's it's a new thing to come here live and connect with you every single day. And I mean, I could talk about lots of stuff all the time. And yet, I really want to make sure that you get value from these. I don't want to just come here and talk at you for nothing. Which brings me to the request and invitation that if there is something that you would like to hear about from me, Please make a comment, um, tag me in the comment so I get it uh, much more quickly. Let me know if there's a topic, a subject matter, something that's on your mind, something that you would like to have unpacked in a way that you feel the mojo could support you with, right? Because uh, this, this whole experiment um, is about you. It's about supporting you. And... The, the work that I do is all about supporting women in reclaiming confidence, feeling amazing in their skins, and living a turned on life. So I love that all my, my fellas are here who join in, and I appreciate that. Um, and share this, tag a, a female friend in the comments here, because if you feel that there's some value, uh, then, then please do spread the mojo love, right? The more women that are rocking their mojo, the better we all are because our communities, our families, our friends, our businesses, everything will improve. So that is my invitation to you. All right. And today, like, let's talk about straight talk. And the question I put in the title of this is, what the heck are you actually telling yourself? Like, what is going on in between these, you know, these ears of yours every day? There's self-talk that's occurring, right? For me, for you, every single one of us, there is self-talk. And mostly, it's on autopilot. Like, not many people really check in and get very conscious about their inner dialogue. And I highly recommend that this is something you begin to do. So I'm curious. Who's out there right now? And those of you watching the replay, are you present to your inner dialogue? Like, what are you actually saying to yourself? Personally, this is something that I consistently work on because I got to tell you, you know, society and culture and my upbringing, and I'm not sure about your upbringings, didn't really, uh, they're not really conducive to oodles of like self-love and you go girl and you're so talented and you've got this and you can do anything that you want. Like if you grew up like that and you're in a society like that, invite me, like let me know. <laughs> Actually, I do surround myself with amazing people at this point. So I do have lots of that around me at this point in my life, right? But consider... If you're, if you're at all like me, then what you have gone through to get to this very point right now, like right now, here together, what you've gone through, it's not always the easiest thing. 
And those patterns and those programs are actually in here. And they're also actually in our whole body, right? Our neurobiological system has been trained a particular way. So consider that there's an entire dialogue that goes on in your mind that affects the way you take action or don't take action, the way that you open your heart to people or you don't, the way that you show up to a business meeting, the way that you show up to a date, the way that you show up to a family gathering. Really consider that there is a whole world that's going on up here. And for the most part, it has been automatic. Now, the good news is you can change that at any moment. And you know, one of the, I mean, one of the, the very well-known people uh, in the world who, who does this, I think pretty brilliantly, um, is Tony Robbins. Right, and he talks about when 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 you are when you when you have an awareness, and you find yourself and you're stuck in this loop, the moment, right, the absolute moment that you discover that, you're like, oh wow, that was just a disempowering thought. Cool, <laughs> boom, like have a, like a pattern interrupt. You can clap your hands, stop your feet, get up, and you know dance around like something that is literally going to interrupt that pattern in the moment super powerfully because did you just get jarred when I did that got a little heated right so even I could feel that in my own body so like right now if you're having a disempowering thought boom do something in the moment to immediately shift that and you do that over and over and over again now the you 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 have the moment you do something to interrupt that pattern and what's really important because guess what the universe does not like a vacuum right the universe doesn't like a vacuum that is just pure scientific fact so if there is this open space something's gonna fill it right so uh if not if when you do your pattern interrupts Replace it with something that is empowering. Replace it with something that you desire. Replace it with the thing that actually fuels you and is the truth. You see, because the truth is from your soul. It's from your higher self. It's from your deepest knowing. And when you take that disempowering thought, you take the shitty self-talk, you take the you know, the nasty girl, and I don't mean the fun nasty girl because there's lots of fun nasty girls. I mean like the nasty bitchy girl talk that has been going on and you replace it with that like, girl, you got this going on, right? You replace it with the empowering piece, the truth, because you all, all y'all have it going on. Like, do you get that? I really want you to get that. You have it going on. And so it's for each and every one of you to get into that, to believe that, to know that in your bones, but most importantly, to have the self-talk be congruent with the truth of who you really are. And all y'all, all y'all, all of a sudden I'm feeling Texas. No, um, everybody out there has it going on. So. I'm interested uh, to know what is your self-talk? Are you already actually aware of when you're not talking nice to yourself? And are you willing to take on the practice of shifting that in the moment? Are you? Are you really? Like really, really? Let me know in the comments. Tag me. If you have any questions about this, of course, ask away. And if there's someone in your world that you're like, wow, they need to hear this message, go ahead and tag them as well in the comments. Bring on the mojo party. That's what's happening here. So be mindful of what you're saying to yourself. 
It was someone who I just heard took on a practice this year, and I loved this. They said, you know, I have made a promise, like a true promise, that I will only have empowering conversations and words about myself. And when I don't, then I'm out of integrity, and I will clean that up and actually re-promise the empowering context of my uh, self-talk, right? And that means to yourself, and also the way you speak about yourself to others. Because it's so easy, it's so easy to start talking nasty shit about ourselves in the most insidious, subtle ways when we're in conversation with others as well. So get it straight here and make sure you have it straight when it's coming out of your mouth. All right, everybody, it's Deborah Kagan, your Mojo Recovery Specialist. I love you lots. Have an amazing, amazing weekend. And uh, well, I'll be back tomorrow because <laughs> this is happening every damn day. You're not getting rid of me. You're not getting rid of me. All right. Um, much love. Have a blast today wherever you are. Have fun. Spread some love. Be good to yourselves. Say loving things to yourself because you are more delicious. All right. Deborah Kagan signing off for now. Bye.